evening, well, good evening, all good evening, Mr. Pennant. How are you, sir? I'm very good, thank you. How Joe are you? Jam. I'm good, matey. Normally good. at this stage good. of the evening, I come to you, I have a little bit of a chit chat and see yep. what you've been up to and so on and so forth. But you know what? We're not going to do that today. We're going to go straight and speak to our European football expert, Kevin Hatchard, on the news that broke around about half hour, 40 minutes ago. Or certainly, we understand that Xabi Alonso is going to be standing by Leverkusen. It looks like they're going to win the Bundesliga. They're 10 points clear at the top at the moment. Let's go and speak to him. Big, big German. Uh, follows the Bundesliga very closely. It's good evening, Kevin Atchard. Kev. How are we, chaps? Well? Very well very indeed, good, Kev. First thing, are you surprised that this has come out or not? That it looks like Alonso's staying at Leverkusen? Yeah, a little. I mean, we've talked about this for a long time and I've said all the way through that this was always a possibility. You know, there was no, there was no firm indication oh, from him at all about what shame. his plans were and he hasn't said anything officially of course they play Hoffenheim this weekend do Leverkusen in the Bundesliga and he's going to have a press conference tomorrow of course this is going to come up so I wonder if this briefing is a kind of prelude to Mm. him saying something at that press conference it was always possible it's a hell of a coup for Leverkusen if they do keep him because I think what he what he does mean is that that team is going to largely stay together. I think there was a possibility that if Xabi Alonso had moved on, um, that you might have had some players thinking, well, if the if the boss has gone, maybe it's my time to go as well, because there'll be offers for some of these players. There's absolutely no doubt about it. And even Lukas Radetzky, the goalkeeper, was saying in the international break, you know, if, if he moves on to Liverpool or Bayern or what have you, you know, I don't think we could begrudge him or stand in his way. So, you know, some of his leading players, his captain, was saying that he thought he might be on the move. So I must admit, I thought knowing that Liverpool were keen on, on bringing him in, and certainly he was one of the, the kind of leading names on their list, that I thought he'd be tempted by that. But it's a hell of a job to try and follow Jurgen mm. Klopp. And and we don't, you know, we don't know what he's thinking. He's not said anything concrete yet but if he is going to stay at Leverkusen you get the feeling that must have played into his thinking Kev it's been a remarkable season for Leverkusen we've been speaking to you on a weekly basis about this and, and there's always that feeling certainly from my point of view I don't watch a huge amount of Bundesliga but there's been a part of me feeling they'll, they'll fall away at this stage there'll be a couple of results where they don't string together Bayern take advantage and do what Bayern do as they did literally last one it was the last game almost the last kick of the season in the Bundesliga last season hasn't turned out to be the way this now gives real stability doesn't it to Leverkusen now going into next season the squad they've got how much work have Bayern got to do let's assume they win the the Liga, uh, Bundesliga with 10 points how much more work have Bayern got to do to get close to them I think Bayern do have work to do and I think they will do it Max Abel the sporting director or the kind of senior sporting director has gone in there and has talked about some quite big changes that they might have to make. It's interesting, he's talked about Jamal Musiala this week and how they see him as the face of Bayern going forwards. Um, whereas I think a couple of players could move on. You know, there's a lot of talk that yours were Kimmich with only a year and a bit left on his deal could move on. There's definitely talk that Alfonso Davies is going to move on with Real Madrid targeting him. Mm-hmm. So Bayern have got a fair bit to do. Harry Kane is a lock. I think there's no chance he leaves Bayern this summer, I don't think. They'll absolutely build next season around him. And they've got a bit to do, but it's a hell of an ask for Leverkusen to do what they've done this season again next season. I mean, what you're talking about with their points total at the moment, or their their form, you're talking about, you know, close to an all-time season. You're talking about the kind of levels Guardiola's Bayern were setting. So, you know, they haven't lost a single game in any competition this season. So it's a bit of a freak in that regard. But if he stays, there'll be genuine confidence that they can bring in some more players and really make this a a kind of permanent thing to be challenging Bayern at the top end. Kev, obviously for all Liverpool fans, the news of... Uh, Klopp leaving was a massive, you know, heart, heartache, and now the news that Xabi is staying at Leverkusen. Where can Liverpool turn now? And I think you're the best man to ask who's out there. Where can Liverpool look to now to replace Klopp? Someone with the same philosophy, maybe idea, so they're not changing things around too much in the club. I think that's a tough thing to do because I think Klopp has a very set way of playing um, that that's quite specific to him in many ways. And and again, that that 
comes into the fact that it's very tough to replace him. I mean, he is one of the elite managers, certainly of his generation, and, you know, one of the best managers Liverpool have ever had. So I think that's fair to say. I know, obviously, they've had some absolute behemoths of the sport in charge of that football club. Um, in terms of where they go next, there are a few options. I actually said when, when Klopp announced that he was going, the name that I... I felt was perhaps a really strong option was Nagelsmann. I still believe that. Uh, I've, you guys know that I've been a huge fan of his from the moment he took the Hoffenheim job at 28 years old. Now, he's in a really interesting situation as the Germany boss because he's only got a deal until the end of the Euros. But the DFB, the German FA are very keen on agreeing a new deal with him that takes him beyond the Euros. He's been quite coy about that. He actually said on ZDF, uh, which is one of the big TV stations out there, well, it depends on the offer. Uh, and he was kind of tongue-in-cheek about that, but he's been quite coy about things. So I don't think he's ruling anything in and I don't think he's ruling anything out. But what he did say not that long ago was if a big club came in with an interesting offer, then he could imagine agreeing something with a club before the Euros so that everybody knows where they stand. So he's been quite smart, I think. He's kind of kept the DFB on side. He's kept the option open of a new deal with them, but he's also left it open for big clubs to come in for him. Ruben Amorim is being linked. He's done a brilliant job with sporting, no doubt about it. Uh, he's He's turned them from what they were, which was kind of also rounds. They're a massive club, no doubt but they weren't really behaving like a massive club in terms of winning the title or even challenging for the title. Not only have they done that, but he's got them into the Champions League quite far. He's managed to have good runs in Europe, knocked out Arsenal last season, you might remember, in the Europa League. So he's done really well with them. But Primera League to Premier League is a big jump. So there is an element of risk there. And De Zerbi will be linked, of course, because of the work that he's done with Brighton. Um, you know, he's taken them into Europe, which is tremendous. He's had a lot of injuries to deal with. So they've dropped off a bit, understandably, perhaps. But he has a clear philosophy that I think would appeal to Liverpool fans. So I would expect him to at least be considered. So there are some big names Liverpool could go for. And I think it'll be really interesting to see where they turn next because they were keen on Xabi Alonso. But it seems that he's briefing he's going to stay. What about Inzaghi? I know you're a big fan of, of what he's doing at, at the moment, but is there any, any other managers like him that out there, maybe in Italy or Spain, that, that potentially could come over? Or is, is, is it quite a small pool? I like Inzaghi very much. Um, you know, we kind of see how he might adapt. I mean, he's got a really good thing going at Inter at the moment. Um, he, he's really built something mm. there. Obviously, Liverpool's a massive job. I have huge respect for him. I think he's done a sensational job at Inter. And I think if you look at what he did at Lazio before, he won things with them as well um, against the odds. So I think he's he's right up there with some of the best. Um, but there are other factors there about adaptation and what have you. But I like him very much. Mm. So, look, there, there's talent out there. And, mm. you know... You always felt, we talked about this right at the top where, in terms of when Klopp first went, you want it to be a forensic process, right? Mm. If you're a massive club like Liverpool, it has to be a forensic process. It can't just be, yes, Xabi Alonso's done really well. He used to play for Liverpool. Great. You can't make him the only candidate. And Liverpool, I think, we're never going to do that. They're always going to have a forensic approach. But he has risen very, very yeah. quickly mm. and rightly and the, the job he's doing at Leverkusen is really quite extraordinary and for that club unprecedented Kev appreciate your time Cheers, at such Kev. short notice as always but look after yourself have a fab weekend and happy Easter happy Easter to you cheers, cheers guys Kevin cheers, Hatcher, there, a European football expert had his beady eyes on, on Bundesliga he mentioned Nagelsmann there I'd love to know what Liverpool fans think Amarin as well De Zerbi's name has been linked Inzaghi one or two others who do you want 03717223344 Jammer get your first words in for the uh, the show um, big Liverpool fan yourself played for the club yep um, no no one lasts forever yep. you know, the club's always going to leave at some stage he's leaving out on a high we don't know how high that high is going to be at the moment but 
How do you think Liverpool fans, what, what kind of mood, where, how will they be feeling right now? Because They'll be disappointed. Um, you know, we had the high hopes of maybe possibly getting Xabi Alonso. Mm. And, you know, the, the job he's done at Leverkusen has been absolutely fantastic. And we'd like to see that transfer into, mm. into a new young Liverpool team that we've got. And I think it would have been perfect. His style of play, his philosophy that he's got at Leverkusen would have, would have fit in absolutely perfect um, at Liverpool. Because um, Klopp's set a great base, a great foundation for a new manager to come in to take over the reign and to push them forward. Mm -hmm. um, you don't want someone to come in to change the philosophy too much. Nope. They've, got a, they've got a plan, they've got an idea now, change it all again, it, that takes time to get used to. Now the DNA of the club is there. I mean, Klopp's yeah. got his fingerprints all, his DNA right I mean. through the so club. So you just want a guy to yeah. come in who plays good style of football, yeah. And knows the game well, and, and Jabi um, Alonso at the moment is, is like I said, is doing a, a fantastic job. So it's it's a little bit disappointing, but we've got obviously the best recruitment team out there that can fix this. The Sports Bar with Jamie O'Hara and Jason Cundy, Monday to Thursday nights from ten on AM on DAB via the Talksport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.